Hey, welcome to this another explanation of a web assign problem. And this time we have a water that's flowing in a cylindrical horizontal pipe. And as the pipe narrows to one third its initial diameter, the pressure in the pipe changes. So part A says, is the pressure in the narrow region greater than, less than, or the same as the initial pressure? Well, maybe some for you, it might be greater, but if it says if it, if it if it's narrow if it, if if the pipe goes like this if the pipe narrows then the pressure here should be less i mean greater so the pressure is greater than the pressure here so the pressure is less here so as as so so the pressure is like this so the pressure as it narrows it gets smaller so it is so is the pressure in the narrow region greater than less than or the same as the initial pressure in in my case this would be this would be less than less than if it's greater region if if it gets greater like this the pipe if if the pipe goes like this the pipe were to go like this then the pressure is going to be greater so the pressure so the, so if it says greater region greater than less than or same as the initial pressure then this would be greater okay so the next one Next problem. So it says calculate the ch the change in pressure. Oh, I'm just making a little subscript. Change in pressure between the wide and the narrow regions of the pipe. Give your answer as an expression in terms of the density of water rho and the initial speed v. Okay. So it says for me it says pi the pipe narrows to one third of its diameter. So, so the first thing we have to do is we have to we have to uh, write this in some sort of some sort of terms. So we, we know that a wide v wide is equal to a narrow v narrow because the same amount the same mass of the water has to travel throughout the pipe at the same time uh, in the same amount of time. That's what this equation basically says kind of so how do we calculate the areas on each side? Well, it says the 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 diameter narrows to one third, and since diameter narrows to one third, uh, radius must narrow to one third too. So, so from from this we can assume that that uh, the the radius of the wide narrows to one third. So one third of the radius of the wide is equal to radius of the narrow. Um, yeah, that seems right. Okay, so how do we calculate the how do I calculate the area? Well, it's just pi r squared. So pi radius of the narrow. Well, radius of the narrow is just radius of the narrow. So radius, I mean wide, radius of the wide squared. Oh, and if we rearrange this, we can we get we get radius of the wide is equal to three radius narrow. Okay. Because so if you multiply three on each side, you get that. So it's in times v w v w is equal to uh, area of the of the narrow narrow pipe. And what is what is equal to r n? Well, it's one third r w. So we can say because it's pi r squared, we can say pi r n r n squared, right? R n squared. But instead of saying that, since Rn is equal to that, we so Rn is equal to that, we can plug in this into Rn and then say and say one third Rw squared instead. Or we just plugged in this into Rn because that that's equal to each other, and then just this Vn. Okay, now now if you look at this, the pi cancels out, and if you multiply this out, it would it would, it would become one nine because three to the Third, three to the second is nine, and it's 
it goes differently for, for uh, numerator and denominator. And this would be just R W squared, so that cancels out. So it's so we're left with V V W equals one ninth V N or, or nine V W is equal to V N. So so basically what this is saying is the velocity of the water in the narrow pipe is nine times greater than the velocity of the water in the wider pipe. Okay, and in, or, in order to solve, solve for this, we can use the Bernoulli's equation. So let's go to the Bernoulli's equation. So P1, or let's, let's just use wide because to, to keep a consistent row. And since this is a horizontal pipe, we don't have to deal with like uh, gravity and height. So we're, we don't have to deal with that. So row, row, V squared. So this is V wide squared for two is equal to pressure of the narrow plus rho v narrow squared over 2. That's a rho, by the way. OK. So this is asking for p wide minus p narrow. So let's rearrange this so we get p wide minus p narrow. So we subtract p wide, p narrow from each side. And then we subtract this from each side. So where, where we go. Uh, rho vn squared, rho is density by the way, so it's over 2, minus rho vw squared over 2, because we just subtracted this from each side. And now we just plug in and then simplify, so we have rho, what is vn? vn is 9 vw, so 9 vw, and vw is, is the initial initial speed because it starts at wide. I mean for me. So that's how you do it. And then and then we have rho just rho VW squared. And that should equal to if if we multiply this out, it's gonna be rho so eighty one eighty one rho because nine times nine is eighty one and then VW squared all over 2 minus rho v w squared over 2. And if we just subtract, let's say this, there's 1 there, and this is 81. We, we subtract, then we just get 880 rho v w squared over 2. So how do we type that into our little website thing? Well, you would type it as 80 times times rho you don't you don't have to use parentheses, but if you want to use parentheses, that's fine. So rho times v because v is v, and you can go like this, but I like to just keep it safe and do that. And that all over two. So let's put a parentheses all around this times that all over two. So that's how you you would write it in. And I hope uh, I helped you a little bit at least. I mean, if it if it if it uh, gets bigger, if it the if the pipe, um, what do what do you call it? Gets bigger. If pipe anti narrows to twice its initial diameter or something, you would instead of doing this, you would go like you would maybe use R one and R two instead, or R narrow to R wide. Like you would swap things around. Maybe maybe I should do another example of this if you really need me to. So leave a comment below if you want me to do another example where the pipe uh, the pipe gets bigger instead of narrowing.